this is an ordinary umbrella, and this is a flying umbrella that follows me around. Umbrellas haven't really changed for the past 4,000 years. I mean, take a look at these two pictures, the fundamental design is exactly the same. But it's 2024, I shouldn't even need to hold my umbrella. So today, I'm gonna make the world's first umbrella that flies. I mean, what could go wrong? In theory, this project should be pretty simple. I reckon I can just slap some propellers onto an umbrella so it flies like a drone, but often theory can only take you so far. Turns out people have tried similar projects in the past, but all of them are either fake or just don't really seem to work. One of the main problems has to do with the placement of propellers. Propellers work by sucking air from above and pushing it downwards to generate thrust. If we try placing propellers on top of the umbrella, there's no space under for air to flow, so it doesn't work. And if we try placing them beneath an umbrella, the umbrella obstructs the air intake, which reduces thrust, and also doesn't work. If this is hard for you to understand, take this cart analogy. If I place a piece of paper here, it blocks the airflow so it stops working. But what if we made an internal frame that allows the propellers to stick out and be positioned on the sides? Since there's nothing above or below, this might actually work. The propellers can then be connected to motors like this one here, and controlled by various electronics, which will help the umbrella stay stabilized while it's in the air. I guess there still is a good chance that this whole project just isn't possible, but I suppose we'll have to find out. Oh yeah, let's first go find an umbrella. I have a lot of different options, but something about its bright yellow color just makes this one stand out. Let's remove the handle so nothing sticks out the bottom during flight. Now here comes a pretty major problem. This rod is the only point on the umbrella I can attach things to, which makes it really hard to design a frame that connects securely. I ended up creating two different designs, this simple practical design, and this slightly better looking but impractical design. So I decided to go with this simple. Having these arms at an angle tucks the electronics further into the umbrella and makes the design much cleaner. The only downside is that the arms are much easier to break upon future landings, but who cares about the future when we live in the present? I actually have no experience with CAD or 3D modeling, and it only looks like I know what I'm doing because I decided to speed this clip up by 2000%, but somehow I was able to learn quickly and only after a few hours of- it's currently day 4, and that took way longer than it should have. The bright side is that we have all the parts we need. So here's the design, a central hub with a hole for the umbrella and 4 angled connection points for the arms, as well as 4 of these parts that mount the motors onto the arms, and a few other parts as well. Now let's just have these parts 3D printed. It seems like my 3D printer isn't really working. Let's try it again. For some reason, it's only printing in 2D. Okay, now it's 3D, but not exactly. If only if there was a way I could get someone to print these parts for me. Well, luckily, now I can. PCBWay offers the best custom PCB prototyping services, but they also offer 3D printing. Just upload your files for an instant quote, choose from a variety of materials and colors, and they take care of everything so you can get the parts shipped directly to your house. If you're working on a project and need 3D printing or any of these other services, make sure to check them out. Thank you, PCBWay, for sponsoring this video. It's currently day 16. Yeah. Let's start off by connecting these motor mounts to the arms. It seems like I accidentally made these holes a bit too small, so now I need to try and make them bigger. This is probably going to be a pretty boring process, so let me try to make some music. Let's go with fits. I had to do this for all four parts which ended up taking an entire hour, this was actually so painful. That took way too long. I'm adding these pads which should help soften the landings. Time to add the motors. This is getting kinda annoying. Now we can just painfully solder 20 foot wires, connect them to the motors, slide them into the carbon fiber tubes, and feed them into the central hub. And boom, now we have an internal frame. 
I think it's time to move on to electronics. First I soldered the wires to this ESC which regulates the speed of the motors, and then I connected to this microcontroller that I can program to keep the umbrella stabilized when it's in the air. Alright guys, I messed up. I tried plugging in the LiPo battery to see if it would work, and yeah, the ESC exploded and destroyed a lot of the parts. I think it's because I soldered these wires super badly, like they might be touching each other, but I don't really know. I don't really want to spend 60 bucks buying another ESC, so let me- There we go. Jokes aside, I had to take everything apart and buy a lot of replacement parts. At this point, I started to question why I was even putting all this effort into something that probably wouldn't even work. But maybe this mistake wasn't such a bad thing after all, as I was able to take this time to improve the design. Since I was using over 7 meters of wire, switching them out for thinner ones significantly reduced the weight. And I also redesigned the wire connections, making them non-permanent, which allows the arms to now be removable so I can take things apart for storage. The large surface area of the umbrella means that even a slight breeze will cause it to be extremely unstable and drift away, so I'm hoping that a GPS can help correct for this and force the umbrella to hold position. And then for control, I'll be using this receiver and transmitter. Oh yeah, let's see if anything explodes again. Let's go. Nice. Configuring and programming the drone was kinda tough, but with a bit of guesswork, self-intuition, and a bit of help from ChatGPT, I'm pretty sure this thing should now be able to fly. Why is that actually powerful? Alright, so the umbrella should friction fit into this hole, and I can wrap this around the arm so it stays in place. And with the final finishing touches, let's head out to see if this sketchy project that took months to make will actually work. I decided to start off by just testing the drone without the umbrella, and somehow, oh! it actually worked. But with the umbrella mess up the aerodynamics, we were about to find out. If this fails, that's like many months of work just gone. All of that is just gone. But at the same time, on like the grand scheme of things, it probably doesn't even really matter. So. Let's just go for it. My heart is actually racing, guys. All right, we're gonna start it. Start recording. Ready? You ready? Oh, I don't want to do this. Should I just go for it? Should I? I'm actually so scared, man. Bro! Bro! That's crazy. Bro, that should not work. Oh my god! Oh my god! The first flight went surprisingly well, but things only started to go downhill from there. During the second flight, the umbrella started drifting away, and I barely caught up to it in time before it smashed into the fence. God. And then the next day, this happened. Oh no! And then it started shaking super violently. Yeah, there were a lot of problems. Instead of like lowering but after some trial and error, I ended up fixing things and now the umbrella is even more stable than before. Now you might be wondering, does it work in the rain? The umbrella covers the electronics, but I wrapped them up with plastic wrap just okay. in case. Oh, yo! And yeah, this thing actually shields me from the rain. It wasn't raining that hard, but I reckon this thing can withstand much harsher conditions, just probably not stronger winds. 
Currently, I can control the umbrella to follow me around, but it doesn't do this autonomously. In the future, I could attach a camera to the underside and write a program that tracks my position and moves the umbrella accordingly. So, 10,000 likes and I'll try to make this work. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.